Painting a squirrel in abstract color can be immense joy and creativity to your artistic expression. By embracing abstract technique, you have the freedom to explore the playful and whimsical side of the squirrel's presence in your artwork. To begin my journey, I definitely need some inspiration. So who better than the Pinterest? I got a lot of different references for different photographs, different artists, but want to create it completely different, want to enjoy some colors today. Abstract colors allow me to experiment with a wide range of palette and contrasting vibrant shades or harmonious pastel or even combination on both. Hi everyone, this is Sana here and I'm very excited to share another woodland animal painting with you all. And in this painting, I have used all acrylic paints. All the paints are in pastel colors. I have tried to give an abstract look to my squirrel with the same series of brush stroke leaves in the background and creating a different values. So sit back, relax and enjoy the time lapse of this creative journey. Do comment and let me know, do you like watching time lapse more or would you like to paint with me? Are you painting with me? Do let me know what medium you have at home to explore your artistic journey. Do you know painting regularly nurture personal growth? It allows you to explore new techniques, experiment with different styles and push your artistic boundaries. Through painting process, you continuously learn and evolve as an artist, expanding skills and ordering your craft. I remember once someone said, you have a lot on your plate. It's incredible that you manage a balance being a mother, a wife and a full-time art educator while finding time to enjoy the process of painting without pressure. And the only thing I reply was prioritize self-care. Take care of yourself, both physically and mentally. Especially if you are in your late 30s or 40s, you definitely need to take out some kind of a hobby beside your work. Remember, the painting is meant to be enjoyable, not stressful. This is what I always tell my students, especially the teenagers. There is a certain age for children and adults when they start painting. After few paintings or by following any reference, they start criticizing themselves that, oh, I don't like it or I don't like my work. And most of the time this happens when they just want to copy someone's work. You can never copy anyone's work. If you want to copy, then it's better to print out instead of wasting your time. Before finding the references on Pinterest or Google or copying anyone's work, the most important thing is to know your basics. Whether you are working with watercolor or acrylic, you definitely know the basic techniques, how those colors has to be blended, how you are gonna bring the depth into your work. So that's it for today. I think we have done a lot of chit chat. I would love to have your comments below if you agree with me that art is a process to enjoy, not to have stress. Along with that, you need to know your basics before you start copying or getting inspired by other artists' work. As I share my creative journey, do let me know if you want to see a complete full length lesson video where I can share some different techniques with you. If you feel connected to this video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video.